I've just finished box two, bag six. And this has the entire, this has the both halves of the chassis now married. Remember in the manual, the, the, the marriage is this stage. Um, forgot a couple of parts. <laughs> it's always a uh, final check. You, you, if you come up with anything, you know, if you come up with anything other than a few of these, you know, and there's some other little miscellanea, these little tiny bits, um, man, if you come up with anything more than this at the end of the build, it's trouble. And there were a couple of larger pieces that I had skipped. Um, but that's all there. And then, I mean, hand. And this thing is, this thing is hefty. This is, I don't know. I don't think it's quite five pounds, but it's more than two. Um, it's a neutral. <laughs> this is the steering column. Eventually, it will be the steering column. I think I just figured out this is the floppy paddle shifter. This is the floppy paddle shifter for the transmission. I didn't realize that till today when I was putting things together. Um, whoa! Turn this thing over. It's. I mean, it's it's hard. To, once you get these things together, I think they kind of merge and you don't quite realize the, the, the technical complexity that's in, involved in this. So there's the main drive, drive line through the system up to the front wheels. Um, you saw the engines up above, the transmission's right here, back end. Um, and you actually can't see the front end differential. You can only see that from above at this point. Um, and so drop this thing down and turn it around. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's, there's my hand, just for kind of size comparison. It's big. It's probably, what's at least as big as the Porsche, looking over across the room. But uh, yeah, the seats are gonna end up here. I'm not sure what this is. This is just an interesting design element. It's a piece of tubing, which is gonna connect up to something but more of a shape, to, to define shape than, than anything else. Now one thing I did note, and I'm gonna catch this on video. Okay, if I wanted to drive this thing with an, an external electric motor so you could see what was going on, I think that's the only access point I have to the drivetrain, that little yellow stub right pain. And they, they had me put this in the way. So what I have to do now is I have to keep this in mind as I continue the build to make sure that, there, that I end up with a way to probably take this thing off so I can put a coupler onto that shaft. So this shaft will drive the engine. And right now I've got it in neutral. But if I put it in forward, I will probably be able to drive the whole drivetrain by driving the engine, which is the way it's supposed to be, actually. But there isn't any other... There's, there's no other way to get onto the, the drivetrain easily. And there's the back of the rear differential is right right up there. 
kind of see it in there but there's no way to get onto that that gear there's a there's a sort of a, a there's a blue gear you can kind of see it through there um, there's no easy way to get onto that gear if you could drive that gear you could drive you could drive the drivetrain so I kind of have to keep that in mind as an alternative which I could get to from underneath if I had to which may may or may not be see I can get on to oh geez I could get on to I could get on to both of these gears in principle I could get on to both of these gears just for the last oh look oh look if I turn this gear if I turn this gear you can see the the rear um, rear disc brake move and if you go up to the front now you can see the front disc brake move ooh okay so they're, they're actually all connected together quite cool if I can just turn the rear differential I can move the front disc brake rotor okay yeah Yeah, I'll just have to think about it. How in the hell I'm going to get be able to drive this drivetrain? But okay, onward to box three. I guess uh, the, the rest of this mostly is going to be the body and seats and interior of this thing. Just a little quick note right here. It's kind of interesting. There is a thrust bearing. Okay, they added this piece and this little tiny piece here to thrust against the shaft that comes out of the engine. So that's, I mean, that's, I, I don't think, hmm, I don't think they really had to do that, but they did it anyway. So that's that's kind of another interesting feature of the design of this thing. A little detail.